All right, my friends, we are moving on and we are completing this section now and doing the fine details. We started it in part two, and if you haven't seen that or part one, the links will below, be below this um, video in the YouTube description box. I'm putting my fun little elements together on my snowmen, just giving them a little bit of shading and outline. And we're taking our walk through our little make-believe um, city, town, whatever you want to call it, um, taking some time to reflect. And so adding, again, the details with my charcoal pencil. Just giving the outline of things will make them stand out and to pull them away from the background. The background adds so much depth and dimension and story to our concertina, but just that little bit of outline, making sure there's enough contrast so that each of our elements, each part of our story is being told. Using a Posca pen, broad tip Posca pen, to add some fun marks and dots on my ornaments. have my gold leaf, Krylon gold leaf, gold pen. It is wonderful. It looks just like gold leaf. A little bit of white on the ornaments again just to make them pop. Adding my shading to my deer and trying to really kind of bring them out without taking, I love the pattern in behind their, like in the background of each one, but still trying to give them some character, some highlight, some depth, some interest, so that they don't just look like this. I want them to be shadowy, but not completely void of any dimension or interest. At using my soft pastel pencil and pastel stick to, to add that little tiny bit of detail in each one. I'm using a little bit of this violet soft pastel in the background to, to kind of really emphasize that area around the deer and to kind of look as if that's the sun setting in the background. Like that purple haze right before the sun sets. Adding my small details of light <clears throat> and snow, a little more shading around my trees. All these little details make a difference. It, it adds so much depth to our story.
adding a little bit of highlight to my tree with some olive green and some white mixed together. A little bit of snow, of course, because it's winter. Using a little bit of gesso to add some snow to the ground. Just kind of smush it out with my finger and soften it. And that, that section feels complete, so we'll move on to the next section. Again, creating our, our walk through our, our village here, how this is kind of playing out. And I love it, absolutely love it. And I'm using olive green on my ground just to give um, some warmth to it so it's not a completely snowy scene so and I want that to be a nice wash so that I can see our beautiful background um, so I can see the background in the in the background I changed the height of my my mountain here or my hill just for interest so that it's not all the same got my pine cone stencil out here and I'm creating my wonderful window scene again at the top. Poinsettia stencil, Alzerian crimson hue and olive green and raw umber. This is a mixture, this color here for the leaves is a mixture of teal and olive green. This is the 5x8 Rustic Church stencil. I outlined, I did the stenciling in black gesso, with black gesso. Coming back in with a cut down credit card because I wanted it to feel rustic. However, it's small, so I needed to have, I love my cut down credit cards because I can cut them to whatever size I want and use them to get that rustic, unpredictable feel. I'm using white gesso. I'll put a little black on the end of my credit card and I can get a nice um, uh, line with it. Not a perfect line. That's what, I, that's what I love about the credit card is it's not perfect, but I still have quite a bit of control. So we're taking a walk to the church. These are the things that, you know, as I think about my journey through my concertina and my journey through my life, the things that are important, the things that are re reflecting on peace and, and all of those kinds of things, faith, family. Using my credit card to give me some rustic feel for the snow. Love it. Love that. Soft pastel for around the door. Some finer detail. Add a little shading in there with my soft pastel pencil. 
Soft pastel pencil is just a little bit softer than my charcoal pencil. creating the path and a little bit of shading around the church with my soft pastel pencil. And this is more like a raw umber soft pastel pencil. It's a brownish black. Love this one color. This is a little bit of cobalt blue watered down. just a tiny bit in the background and then I'll make a little bit kind of misty bit of sky continuing my forest theme and the nice thing about this stencil is you can use part of it or all of it And part of the reason why I put that kind of wider, more blocked out blue background right where I'm drawing the houses is so that the houses would stand out. I needed it to have a little bit more opaque area, otherwise they would get lost in the background. And I want them to just be off in the distance, this kind of shadowy idea of the houses and this town that we're part of and you know where we live and our community and all those kinds of things those are the things that I'm thinking through as I put all the pieces together for my concertina and these are just quick little sketches nothing nothing fancy I rub over them with my hand to kind of blur them out a bit I'll add a few more little bits to kind of create snow and a little detail little shading at the base adding some just a few additional marks with my soft pastel kind of blending out some of that white for snow just some real soft marks adding a few snowflakes just to add just for the fun and joy of it it just felt like the right thing to do and that's what I want to do and that's what I want you to do what is the next right thing to do that would be fun for you and I'm just adding the last little details here and we will finish this up or it is finished up and we will do our last section on our Sunday inspiration next week <music>